the prosecution has just started outlining how they believe Mark Bridger on October the 1st last year took away a happy, smiling young five-year-old April Jones. He abducted her, murdered her and then destroyed or concealed her body. Now, Mark Bridger arrived at court this morning under heavy security, the lens of all the cameras trained on him. He then went to sit in the dock and some half an hour ago started listening to the prosecution case against him. They say his crimes were sexually motivated, that at his home he had a computer which is full of indecent images of children. And on the same computer he had stored pictures of local girls. Now, a forensic examination of his home found blood stains in three different areas, and the DNA from that blood matches the DNA of April Jones. Well, how, as you say, very uh, difficult details being heard, and, and April's family watching in the courtroom. Yes, both Paul, uh, Coral and Paul Jones arrived at court this morning, uh, this morning, both wearing the pink ribbons that, that have become emblematic of the search for their daughter over six months. They sat in then listening to the evidence carefully. They will have been prepared for this moment, but they are having to listen to heartbreaking details of the allegations made against Mark Bridger. Uh, it was uh, spelled out to the jury that April cannot tell them what happened and that Mark Bridger will not tell them what happened. He will say during his defence that he did kill April Jones in a road accident and put her body into his car but that he has no recollection of what happened afterwards. He denies the three charges of uh, abduction, murder and perverting the course of justice.